Oh, good evening, midweek. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. I don't know how we're all entering the room tonight, but I want to uh, read some words of Jesus from the book of John. He says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, you may be also. And where I go, you know, the way you know. For I am the way, the truth, and the life, says Jesus. And later on in John, he says, I tell you all these things, that in me you might have peace. For in this world you will have trouble. And then I can almost imagine him leaning in a little closer to let him in a secret and say, but take heart, I've overcome the world. Take heart, church. Christ has overcome the world. All right. But don't let your heart trouble. Hold your head up high, don't fear no evil. Fix your eyes on this one truth. God is madly in love with you. Hey, hey. So don't courage, hold on, be strong. Remember where your help comes from. Don't let your heart trouble. Hold your head up high, don't fear no evil. Fix your eyes on this one truth. God is badly in love with you. So take courage, hold on, be strong. Remember where our help comes from. Jesus, hey, sweet wine. 
Good evening, everybody. Hey, show of hands, like, who, who is this is your first time ever coming to join us on a midweek on a Wednesday? Yeah, there's some hands in here. Thank you so much for being with us. We're one big church, one big happy family, whether you come on the weekends or whether you attend a student ministry or whether you attend a, a midweek service. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, for the regular midweek attenders, you know that at a certain point in our service, we stop, we pause to observe uh, receiving communion and what many call the Lord's table or what many call the Eucharist or they call the Last Supper. And we're going to do that today. And so if you have professed a faith in Christ, the communion table is open for you. Before we do that, we want to kind of center our minds around one thought. In the book of John, Jesus and his disciples, and this is in many of the Gospels, but Jesus and his disciples are sitting at a meal. And this meal was a common thing for Jesus and his disciples. They grew up as, you know, good Jewish boys, and they knew the law. They knew their history. And they knew that this meal, the Passover, was a representation of when God saved the children of Israel from bondage in Egypt. And so they're going about it thinking this is just any normal meal. But in that moment, Jesus said to his disciples something that would change their lives and that would change the course of history. He said to them, from now on, when you take this, 
I want you to do it and remember me and not remember Moses and not remember what you've known your entire life. In that moment, Jesus completely flipped everything that they knew and introduced a brand new thing. And so, as we prepare our hearts to receive communion, I'd like to invite you into a bit of an exercise that may challenge you. I'd like to invite everybody to close your eyes. And without going too deep into these thoughts, I'd like to encourage you to think about the things that God has changed in your life. We are all recipients of grace. We are all people that are loved by Almighty God. And so as you stand with your eyes closed, just think about some of the things that God has changed. The things that he's brought you from. The victories that he's won in your life. The the victories that you are expecting him to win. And in your heart, just say a prayer of thanksgiving. Jesus, we appreciate what you did for us. Thank you for changing our minds. Thank you for changing the world. Thank you for changing history. Yeah. A few more seconds. Just pray your prayers of thanksgiving. open the tables and when you feel ready please come forward and as you come forward be reminded that Jesus wants to be with you he wants to be for you he gave himself, he came to this earth to give himself as Emmanuel God with us and he will never leave you, never forsake you please come forward
good to be with you. What an awesome night it's been already. You can go ahead and have your seat. And service host, as you come forward, I'd like to pray over our offering. God, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you that you've given us resources that we can freely and joyfully give back to you because you are an awesome giver. You are a great God. Everything we have is from your hand, God. And so we give these gifts to you and trust that you will multiply them for the good of your church and for the glory of your name. We love you in Christ's name. Amen. Service host, you can go ahead and receive the offering. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Ashley, if we have not met. It is so good to be with you on this very special evening. We'll talk about why it's so special in just a moment. But first of all, here at Midweek, we want to tell you a little bit about what's coming up here at church. Now, a few of you have heard about this new app that we just launched. So many people that I know understand that they love the messages that they hear on weekends or on Wednesday nights, and they want to share them with friends. Well, let me tell you, the easiest way to do that is by sharing or downloading this app. If you have an iPhone, you can go to the App Store and download by just searching Willow. Creek, or if you have a Google phone, you can go to Google Play, Play and download it that way as well, but that's the easiest way for you to share everything coming up in the archives um, for messages and events coming up at Willow. One such event that we want to let you know about is coming up this Saturday, January 19th. It's a financial resolutions workshop, and so many of us make resolutions in the new year, and a few of us I know have made ones surrounding our money and stewarding the resources that God has given us. Well, this workshop is 
for you. If you're interested in looking at your expenses and looking how you've managed those and you want to look ahead, understanding how you can set more goals for your money and honoring God with your money as well. So that's this Saturday, January 19th. Um, it's a one-stop workshop, so you can learn more at willowcreek.org slash next steps. And then we are continuing to move ahead together as a church community. I'm so excited that we'll be journeying through the book of John in just a couple of weeks. This is something we're doing as an entire church. What does it mean for us to dive deeply into God's word and understand what he's doing in and through us together as an entire body? So this is not just weekend services. This is all of us here at Midweek and kids and students will be looking more closely at John's gospel to understand what he has to say to us as a church. So that launches January 26th and 27th, but if, if you're interested in participating, you can pick up your books this weekend at church, so you don't want to miss that. Um, this weekend, we are honoring the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And we are so excited to be welcoming Eugene Cho, who will be bringing a message on justice and why justice matters. So if you have a heart for justice or if it's something that you're growing in, bring a friend along, bring a neighbor. We want to understand together why Dr. King's legacy matters for us as the church today. And we are so excited that Eugene is going to be bringing that word. And then next Wednesday night, we have our very own Jared Wilkins who will be bringing the message. He'll be finishing up our current series on togetherness. We started in Ephesians 4 last week, but he'll be finishing up that passage next Wednesday night, and I cannot wait for the word that he's going to bring for us. But tonight, there is no message, and here's why. Tonight, we are so excited that we get to partake in an invitation together. So many of us have registered for this event called Group Launch, happening in just a few minutes. See name tags all around the room for people. Those of you who are excited um, to venture out into community, meet other people from around our church, either people who live in your neighborhood or who are in your same life stage. We truly believe that God designed us to do life together. So it is so encouraging to see all of you here tonight getting ready to go over to the activity center. Just a couple of things to let you know before we dismiss. First of all, if you're interested in a group, we are organizing all of the group tables by color. We have a map to show you of where you can go and where tables will be organized in the activity center. Just a quick note, we are so full. We have had hundreds of people register. We're so excited to invite people into um, the activity center, but if you are interested in a women's group, you are headed to the atrium. Women's groups will be in the atrium, and then just a note for everybody who is registered, we are excited to invite you to head over in just a, in just a moment, but if you are not registered, or if you're here with a group that you're in already, or if you're just kind of here to check it out and you want to know what's going on, please just be praying for the event in the lobby or some other place in the church. We really, really need all the space that we have for the activity center for those of us who have registered for group launch. We want to make sure that we can accommodate everybody. So immediately after I dismiss, whether you're going to a workshop or to group launch, if you're in a group already, feel free to hang around and be praying for what God's going to be doing in the activity center in the atrium. We are so excited to be launching launching this new era, this new fresh wave of small groups and community in our church. Amen? Amen. Amen. So if you are headed to a class or workshop that's happening downstairs, you are dismissed. And at this time, I would like to dismiss everybody to go over to the activity center if you're headed for group launch. Enjoy, everybody. The midweek team will see you there.